Welcome to Road Choice Clutch Technical Training. I'm Justin, your host, and this video series provides instruction on our clutch product portfolio. If you'd like to expand your knowledge beyond the basics and get a better understanding of clutch components, you're in the right place. The full program has 12 instructional chapters, and you can study them in sequence or go directly to a topic of interest. Topics range from setup and adjustment to clutch types, components, tools, accessories, and troubleshooting tips. Be sure to spend time studying each chapter so you know how they all tie together. Now let's get into our technical training. We'll start with selecting a clutch and talk about some important installation considerations. Selecting the right replacement clutch depends on identifying four variables. Clutch size, flywheel bore, torque rating, and linkage system. Don't assume that the clutch removed was the correct one for that vehicle either. Always be sure to check the application before recommending or installing a new clutch. Let's go through the four identification steps. Step one is determining the clutch size. The input shaft diameter will be either inch and three quarter or two inch like this one. And the clutch disc diameter or clutch size will be either 14 inch or 15 and a half inch. Now step two is determining the flywheel bore. All 14 inch clutches use eight spring disc assemblies. These can be used only with 7-inch flywheel bore sizes regardless of whether they're flat or pot style flywheels. For a 15.5 inch clutch, here are the rules. If the flywheel bore is 7 inches, only use an 8 spring disc. If the flywheel bore is 8.5 inches, use a 10 spring disc. And if the flywheel bore is 10 inches like this one, use a 7 spring disc or a 9 spring disc for Mac and various Volvo models. Step three of clutch identification is determining the clutch torque rating. An easy way to do that is with the torque rating chart found in the Road Choice Clutch catalog. Here's what you'll do. Correctly identify the engine model and horsepower setting. For example, a Cummins ISX-15 rated at 425 horsepower. From the chart, determine the torque rating. The Cummins ISX-15 425 horsepower engine has a torque rating of 1,650 foot-pounds. This tells you that a clutch with a torque rating greater than 1,650 foot-pounds is needed. Here's an important rule of thumb. Only match identical clutch and engine torque ratings when absolutely necessary. When possible, choose a clutch with a higher torque rating than the engine. The fourth and final step is to determine the type of linkage system. The linkage type will tell you if a manual or self-adjust clutch should be installed. For a mechanical linkage system, one using rods and cables, you can install either a manual or self-adjust clutch. For a hydraulic linkage system consisting of hydraulic fluid and cylinders, only a self-adjust clutch may be installed. This is due to the release fork contacting the release bearing at all times and the absence of free travel. Here's a tip for you. One quick way to determine what kind of linkage system you have is to check the release fork. As you can see, Hydraulic and mechanical forks look very different. So remember, clutch size, flywheel bore, torque rating, and linkage system. Follow these four easy steps and you'll be able to identify the right road choice clutch replacement every time. Well, that's it for this chapter. I hope you'll explore the other chapters in this technical training series to make sure your clutch knowledge is up to date. You'll find all the parts information you need at roadchoice.com and you can always contact us directly with questions about what you've learned here. This is Justin for Road Choice Truck Parts, and I'll see you next time.